Hey guys, I'm back with another random watercolor painting of a random animal, and you guys chose Gastornis for some reason. I'm mean, not complaining, I haven't drawn an Eocene bird in... at all. I haven't drawn an Eocene bird at all. Gastornis is pretty popular for a non Pleistocene Cenozoic creature, probably because it was in Walking with Beasts. It also had a tendency to be flaunted as one of the ways the prehistoric world was so weird. I mean, the monstrous bird that ate horses has a nice ring to it. This turned out to not exactly be the case though, but Gastornis is the type genus for the Gastornithiforms, it's kind of the poster child. Uh, Ga Gastornithiforms was the order of flightless birds that Gastornis originated from, which uh, they're all extinct, and their only living relatives today are Anseriforms, the waterfowl. And I mean, I don't see the resemblance, actually... The type species of Gastornis was G. parisiensis, but the one I'm drawing is the most complete and largest G. gigantea. Gastornis was a big bird. It was over six feet tall, and it would have been a sight to behold in the Eocene forest. A lot of people think that they're terror birds, the forest rockets, and they do look kind of superficially similar, and this wasn't helped by the whole thinking that they were predators thing. But recent evidence suggests otherwise. The beak is different from pretty much any other carnivorous bird you can think of. They all have some sort of hook or point to their beak, while Gastornis had just like a giant flat beak that is superficially similar to that of a finch. And there's also the, the case of it not having grasping talons to subdue prey, and isotopic evidence revealing that their diet didn't consist largely of meat. And all of that may ruin Gastornis for some people, but I implore you, go up to a cassowary and tell them, Hey God, hey, hey cassowary, you're, you're boring because you're a herbivore, and, and see how well that works out for you. The one thing that I hate about Gastornis is that it reminds me of that scene from Walking with Beasts. And I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Why? Why? Why did you have to show me that walking with beasts? Why? The bull out there. Try not to get stabbed by the other people we're gonna put in here mostly. Oh no! The drawing itself took inspiration from the cards of a stork billed kingfisher, which is also a kingfisher with a pretty weird beak, and the colors are obvious. The banding on the feathers was actually taken from spruce grouse, because they're forest dwelling terrestrial bird. They don't they don't they don't fly as much as, say, any passerine would. And yeah, this was pretty fun to do. Leave your comments for what random prehistoric animal you want me to do next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.